say thank you so much to our host tonight. I want to say thank you so much to Logan and Sarah. And I want to say a special thank you to the 13 folks who joined me for a writing workshop. Uh, Sarah was like, hey, this is Kristen. And I was like, hey, I'm Kristen. Let's do some writing. Before my intro, I gave them no context for who I was. And they just went, all right. So I really appreciated it. Um, did anybody else here go to the Women's March this afternoon? Well, that's good you watch the news, honey. <laughs> Next time, go in person and you will be as inspired as I was. Um, so I just want to be really clear that in my poetry and in my life, when I refer to women, I'm referring to femmes of all genders. Okay, I'm going to read you some poems. This is from uh, the chapbook that's coming out in end of April, beginning of May. It's called The Selected Catalog of My Altar from Left to Right. I don't get judged, right? Because that's terrifying. <laughs> but you could judge me, just silently. <laughs> Starts with an uh, epigraph from Anais Nin. The body is an instrument which only gives off music when it is used as a body. Bodies that sit here, bodies that read, bodies that stand and bend and hurt. In German, the word body died, replaced by the word life. Body is contrasted with the word soul. Altar far left. Thirty or more cowrie shells scattered, tiny woman parts mawing, bodybuilding, antibody, everybody, a snake shed. I'm not supposed to tell you that my sister got it from the zoo. Body politic, heavenly body, body image, body language. Seven vials of my blood, an art project put on hold because I was told that writing about a woman's body is not relevant or innovative. True story. Nobody rebody somebody over my dead body. A woman I did not know came to my house with her needles and pulled the blood from my veins. She forgot her tourniquet, so we tied my bandana around my arm. She slapped and said, are you ready? Writing about a woman's body is not relevant or innovative. A petition for Hannah, a petition for Ian, a petition for TC, a petition for Krista, a petition for me. Some of us still have bodies that look like women. Some of us have bodies that look less like women. Some of us have bodies that do not look like women at all. Rebody, reembody, somebody. These petitions are sprinkled with lavender I picked in the south of France. I remember bending over in a skirt. Can you picture that? My body bent forward, my butt sticking up, harvesting lavender on the side of the road. The cars that drove by, bodies in those cars yelling. Antibody, disembody, everybody. These petitions are wrapped in thread from Banu Kapil. I once heard a male student of hers talking about her slamming body. Writing about a woman's body is not relevant or innovative. Heavenly body, body image, body language. A door knocker that is a woman's hand cupped around a ball. It is heavy, this woman's hand has no door to knock upon. Five poppies made from soda cans in South Africa. I bought them in a rainstorm, ducked into a metal hut in Kailisha. The artist beckoned me in. He handed me a bouquet of metal flowers. His eyes went up and down my body. He would not take the money, but his wife took the money, and my body went back out into the rain. Antibody, disembody, everybody. Half of a shell I found at 114 feet down in the Sea of Cortez. It is coated with mother of pearl. The nacre coats a grain of sand, makes it beautiful. The mother that nourishes, the mother that creates. It's just so obvious, isn't it? I carried the air I needed on my back. Nobody, rebody, somebody. A piece of quartz I found in the forest when I was hiking with her. A shell I found in Mexico when I was laying around on towels with her. A shell I found on a beach in LA when I was walking with her. She is no longer my her. Heavenly body, body image, body language. A condor feather, I'm not supposed to tell you that my sister got it from the zoo. A golden eagle feather, I'm not supposed to have this feather. This feather was for my lover, but she left. The eagle molted, the feather sits. 
heavenly body, no body, disembody. A dissected and reconstituted chitin skeleton. I cut it open. I sliced the flesh. I pulled its invertebrate body apart. I glued its almost bones back together, discovering and destroying its body. Altar far right. A red virgin candle for Aquila, a card with Aquila's words on them. Situational emphasis, shadows, evacuated narrator, no closure, just this. Aquila Oliver was a person with a body, Aquila, the eagle, body bad, body language, body snatcher, over my dead body. I think about William Stafford's poem, Traveling Through the Dark, how at the end he thinks of us all and pushes that dead doe body with life still inside into the canyon. Aquila, you and us all. Writing about a woman's body is not relevant or innovative. Aquila, you being gone makes no sense. I know the natural order, but it makes less sense than a dead father, less sense than a dead lover. Heavenly body, body heat, no body, disembody. Aquila, do you know that HR asks your question of everyone she meets? What are the limits of the body? Aquila, what are the limits of the body? The first time she asked me, I said, the body is limited by our own expectations. The last time she asked me, I said, the body is limited by who we allow to love us. One more piece.